I am so damn good. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up, man? So today, I wanted to jump, I guess, right into it. And uh, what I, the reason I got this idea, well, I'll start with the idea. The idea was, what are some video game companies that when you see that they make something and they're coming out with a game, do you have any companies you can just depend on? And this can be retro too. Like, oh, that was made by Sunsoft. I'm getting it for sure. Because Sunsoft made Batman and Sunsoft made Journey to Silius and Fester's Quest and, you know, Metal Storm, blah, 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 blah. You know, I don't think it was Metal Storm. But, um, you know what I mean? Konami. You know, oh, Castlevania Contra, blah, 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 you know. Is there any, any companies that you say, oh, fuck, I'm going to try it just because it's made by them? And I got this idea a little bit because I seen uh, Smash JT uh, made that video about like Mario Wonder and people are like a little worried about Mario Wonder. It's like, bro, like Nintendo making a Mario game, you have nothing to worry about. Like you don't even need to look into anything, dude. It's going to be badass. You know what I mean? So like I wasn't big on watching the direct and stuff. I like to just be surprised, you know? Well, like, dude, <laughs> I'm going to give Miyamoto more credit, dude, and let him, and, and depend on him and say, he's not going to fuck up a Mario game, dude. Not a 2D or a 3D Mario game. Like, if they were coming out with a new Odyssey or something like that, like, let's just say that, dude, it's going to be good. You don't need to look at anything or anything. You know, Tears of the Kingdom, I didn't even really, like, look at, like, anything coming out for that game. Um, when they had all the trailers and stuff, I barely watched anything because I just wanted to be surprised. Because I was like, guys, it's like Breath of the Wild, dude. It's going to be fucking awesome. Like, dude, the first one was a home run. This one's going to be a grand slam. Like, they, they're going to kill this, you know? So there's just some people that you depend on, you know? And, and you, you uh, ain't got to worry about it. Another company that I don't worry about because... Obviously, one I want to say was Nintendo. You know, if you're if you uh, like Nintendo games, then you could pretty much depend on them to do whatever they need to do. Like when they made the new WarioWare, I knew it was going to be good. When they made the Mario and Zeldas, I knew they were going to be good, man. No problem. You see a new Mario Kart, it's going to be good, dude. Like you don't even need to look into it. You know, Luigi's Mansion, they got it, man. You know, they got it. But. Um, that is one thing I will say about Nintendo, man. When they make their games, they're really fucking good. Like, they don't have, a, they don't ever come out with a really good game. Like, kind of how that Cyberpunk came out. And then it kind of shit the bed. You know what I mean? That never happens with Nintendo, dude. Uh, not that I can think of. Like, every time I've played, like, a Mario game, I know some people don't like Sunshine and stuff. Dude, it was good, though. It was a good game. I liked it. Like... The difference between a good and bad game. Was it one of the best 3D Marios? No, but it was still a really fucking good game. It's just the bar is so high. You know, it's kind of like a lot of people don't like Wind Waker. Or I would say Captain Alger is probably one of the only ones that doesn't like Wind Waker. But like, Wind Waker, okay, isn't as good as the other ones, but it's still a really fucking good game. You know what I mean? None of them are like bad games. Like, oh, they're not even worth fucking playing, dude. It sucks. Like, I don't think so, you know? I don't know about that. I've never played, like, the Link's Awakening remake or whatever, but I'm sure it's really good, you know? I, I played the original, so I didn't really want to play the remake. But, uh, man, I'm sure it's really good. I'm sure they killed it, man. But um, another company I could think of, Rockstar. Rockstar Games. Whenever there's a new GTA, dude... I don't even need to look into it, man. They got it. You know, Red Dead Redemption, they got it, man. Like, you don't have to fucking worry at all, man. That, that game's going to be killer, you know? Um, so there's just companies that when I see their brand on it, I go, yeah, this is going to be good. And I know a lot of people are talking about, like, the new uh, Starfield game because it's made by Bethesda. Bethesda's a very good company, too. So you could definitely put your... Uh, you know, your, your uh, dependence on that as well. Like, when I see a new Fallout, I'm like, dude, it's probably really good. 
you know. Now, I didn't play Fallout 76. I know that was different. And I think it was Bethesda, right? I know sometimes with Fallout, they're weird. And, like, Bethesda doesn't make every one, right? But, um... But anyway... Um, I know that was questionable if that was good. Anyone I've ever played has been good. I tried Fallout 3, Fallout 4. I've seen Fallout Vegas. All good, you know? Um, same with, like, Skyrim. I mean, dude, it's awesome. It's fucking badass, man. Back in the day with Morrowind and Oblivion, I mean... You're looking at killer games there, man. So I think, I think for the most part, Starfield, you know, you could probably depend that... Bethesda's probably going to do a good fucking job. If they've been working on it a long time, it's probably a good game, you know. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's how this discussion came up, too, is do you have to, like, look into when you see those game companies making a game, do you have to look into it? Or do you just get it because you depend on them, you know? I would say I look into everything a little bit, but when it is a good company, like, if there was a new GTA, I wouldn't even need to watch a trailer. Now, I might, because I'm excited, and I'd want to see, like, okay, who's the protagonist, what's the story and stuff, but, dude, they're going to kick ass. This is going to be an awesome game, you know? If I seen anything related to, like, Red Dead Redemption, like, if there was a Red Dead Redemption 3 somehow, then I'd be like, I don't even need to watch anything, dude. This is going to be amazing, you know? So I know some people are like that with Resident Evil. Um, you know, when Resident Evil... I'm drawing a blank here. Who makes Resident Evil? Holy shit. Capcom. So when you see a Capcom game, do you, do you, do you need to look into it? Or, you know, Street Fighter Six, or when Mega Man 11 came out, like, do you even need to worry about it or do you just get it? You know? Um... Because Capcom, that's that's a pretty uh, good company to depend on. They've made a lot of good fucking games. Retro-wise, I always think that way about Konami, for sure. Like, if it's a Konami game, it's like... I would say Sunsoft is pretty fucking good, too. You know? Those are those are gimmies. There's a lot on the NES that, that make good, uh, good games. I know some people have done those videos... I'm like, oh, all the games made by this company, all the games made by this company. Like the evil LJN, you know. People have an opposite effect on that. AVGN's got everybody taught that when you see LJN, you walk away, you know. He's got everybody in that mode. Which it isn't true. There's a lot of good LJN games, man. A lot of good LJN stuff. But, uh, yeah, you got EA Sports. So you got games like Madden. Do you look into the new Madden when it's coming out, or do you just scoop it because you trust in EA Sports? How about NBA 2K, 2K Games? Do you have to look into 2K Games, or do you just go, oh, no, it's going to be good. I'm getting it, you know? I would say it's fair to believe in EA Sports. I think, I think if you like EA Sports, you know what you're going to get. You know, it's in the game. Same with 2K. I mean, 2K is pretty good, man. I mean, I don't think you need to worry too much. That's why with the wrestling game, you got 2K basketball, which is fucking amazing. I don't really play basketball games anymore, but I mean, I know those are good fucking games. I watch people play it, and wow, if you're a basket, big basketball fan, that's a pretty fucking sweet game. But, uh, and then WWF, uh, WWE 2K, they did a great job, dude. Holy shit. What a game. But they did fail me once, years ago. So I had to look into it quite a bit. But I'd say they've gained back my respect. I, I trust in them now. But yeah, are there some other companies I'm not thinking of and stuff like that? Um, and have they ever let you down? So 2K's let me down, like I just said. It was like... It was ever, whatever WWE game had Seth Rollins on the cover, I fucking hated that game, dude. I bought it brand new and it was garbage. I was so pissed. I figured it would be good. I was like, yep, I haven't played a wrestling game in a long time. I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. I miss playing wrestling games. Because I love wrestling games, dude. And it was complete fucking trash, dude. I was so pissed. But yeah, last year and this year's, dude, 
Oh my gosh, they've been awesome. Awesome fucking games, dude. So good. But, uh... Yeah, Rockstar let me down once a long time ago, back in the PS2 era. They made a game called State of Emergency. And I thought State of Emergency, because I had this dependence on them, I thought it was going to be a lot like GTA. I had seen screenshots in the magazines and stuff like that. And I didn't read up on it a bunch bunch because it was made by Rockstar. So I thought it was going to be fucking awesome. Boy, was I wrong. State of Emergency was extremely poor. It was, like, cool for one night. Fucking garbage. It was fucking poor. I still remember, too, you unlock different characters. You're in, like, a mall and everything. You gotta continue to fight everybody. You got security coming after you. It gets harder and harder. And it's more of, like, a fight against time. It's, like, how much destruction can I make in time? And it has people, like, rioting and stuff. It's fucking poor, dude. It's a really poor game. But, uh, yeah, they let me down once. I know some people like Squaresoft, and I know that's let them down before. Uh, I mean, hell, a lot of people didn't like Mario RPG, you know? I was Squaresoft, so they let you down, I guess, you know? But if you're a Final Fantasy fan and stuff, you trust in them 100%, you know what I mean? So yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'm already on almost 12 minutes here of game companies you would depend on. Or do you, or don't you? No matter what, do you look into your game no matter what? You know, you don't trust anybody. DTA. Don't trust anybody. I don't trust any of these video game developers to deliver the game that I want because I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin. I kick ass and that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. But <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. It's Friday. I want to get to playing some video games this weekend. West Side Till I Die. Don't know why he said that. We're going to get going. Three-day weekend. Let's go. Yeah.